he let go of a secret that he had been keeping for 14 and a half years. Some peace for the family of a UW-Madison student who was killed in her apartment more than 14 years ago. 56-year-old David Call was sentenced to life in prison today after agreeing to a plea deal. It's been 14 and a half years of questions, concerns, and heartbreak for Brittany Zimmerman's family and people in this community. Zimmerman was found dead in her apartment in downtown Madison back in 2008. Investigators said she had just returned home Home from classes when someone followed her into her apartment and killed her. Kyle was previously a person of interest after DNA connected to him to, at the crime scene. In 2017, a man who was in federal prison with Kyle in West Virginia told investigators Kyle confessed to him that he killed Zimmerman. Kyle was arrested for the murder years later in 2020. Today, closure can finally begin for the family. Judge Chris Taylor handed down a mandatory life sentence along with Call's guilty plea. But she will decide at a later hearing whether Call may be eligible for extended supervision after 20 years. As Naomi Coles explains, for the family, the heartbreak is hardly less today than it was in 2008. Naomi? Brittany Zimmerman's aunt spoke in court today, but the rest of the family declined to speak to reporters afterwards. We last spoke to the family in 2018 at her parents' home in Marshfield. That was when the case was just 10 years old. And we thought it was going to be solved right away. We didn't even consider that this that we'd be here. It would be another four years after this interview in 2018 before Brittany Zimmerman's parents could sit in this courtroom and hear this from the man who killed her. And are you pleading guilty because you did intentionally cause the death of Brittany Zimmerman? Yes, Your Honor. David Call, a man neighbors and police knew about since days after Brittany's murder in April 2008. Uh, how technology has moved forward the, in, in forensics, I think that, that ended up being key. In, in court, his attorney said Call only just last week finally explained what happened that day on Doty Street in Madison. While running his door-to-door -door scam in the neighborhood, he stopped at Zimmerman's home. High on drugs and paranoid, he lost it when he saw Zimmerman on the phone. Brittany's fiancé would find her later, stabbed and strangled. It was much more about him letting go of a secret and making sure that he provided closure to all of the people who have spent a lot of time and energy and emotion. For the whole family, the heartbreak is hardly over. I'm glad that he feels he has a free conscience at this point, but we, as a family, have nothing but pain. We have nothing but daily reminders, and we've had nothing but torture for 14 and a half years. When you take someone's life, you take a lot of other people's lives, too, in the process. And there's a lot of broken hearts here, I know. That life sentence handed down today, that was because Call wanted to start serving his sentence right away. His attorneys say Call has health issues the state system is better equipped to handle than a county jail. That decision came over the objection of the family.